Alright, okay now let's, uh, this is all the export. The size of the image will be 1680 by 1050. Okay. 18. Sixteen eighty by ten fifty. Okay, so that is the size of your screen. Okay, the size of your screen. This is the size of your screen. So it's quite big. So I'm going to reduce it so you guys can see. Okay, now. We're going to save this director file as a different name because the, the one yesterday we saved as a main.dir, right? So right now I'm going to save it as I click on the save icon here and I'm going to save as main 9, okay, main 9. So today is the date is 9, okay. By the way, Tomorrow, right, uh, we have a guest speaker. It's free. So you guys can join at 12.30. Don't miss it. Guest speaker for Ajahn Brian. Love. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? Okay, main number nine. Okay. So now I set my file on, right? So I'm going to save everything and now let's start import all the element in. So I go to file menu and import. Okay. So I'm going to import every every file on the interface folder. So I can change this as a list. So I will see, you know, I have a lot of image file here, right? So I'm going to select all except main and main9.dir, okay? Except the director file itself. So I can select and hold down the control key, right? To deselect some item on that. So I want to import PNG file and JPEG file, but not the DIR file, okay? And now I'm going to cop, uh, add, okay, add. On the import part, you have a few options. Okay. The first one is called standard. Okay. The first one is called standard. So what does standard mean? The standard mean when you import something into director it will incorporate within director, right? So that means your file, your director file will get bigger, okay? But you do not have to worry about, you know, you missing file somewhere, right? So that's the benefit of it. So the file always there, you know, when you import file in. Uh -huh. But another choice, you can link to external file. The link to external file is when you import file into director, right? The file won't be incorporated to director file. So that means if you rename the file or if you move your file around somewhere else, director won't be able to find your file, okay? So that the disadvantage. But the benefit of it, your director file always small, right? And sometimes when you create the application, such as a slideshow, for example, if Alan wants to create a slideshow for the hospital, and the hospital uh, update the new equipment, you know, with different picture. So what they did, right, after Alan designed the application for them, they don't have to come back to a lot, you know, to share the slideshow. They can just replace the JPEG file with the new file, something like that. So that's the benefit of the link file, all right? 
and the rest of that uh, we do not need to. Uh, the next one is about the data for editing. We do not want to edit anything with director. You know, so I always encourage you to keep your layer Photoshop files always. You know, do not leave it. Do not delete it. Just keep it with you. Okay. And then the import PIT file. PIT file is a standard picture file from the Macintosh. In the past, when the window was very primitive, right? So a lot of graphic applications start from the Macintosh side. And the PIT file is the common, the most common native file on the Macintosh. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to use standard import. Okay, standard import. To import every file in the interface folder except director file, okay. And then when you import it, right, it's going to ask you another question. It's going to ask you another question. It's going to ask you the color depth, 32 bit or 24 bit, right? So in this case, it default to 32 bit. So we leave it like that because we want our background to be transparent, right? And on the next one, you might want to check and trim it because it's checked on the trim white space, okay? Trim white space. So you don't, don't want to trim it because in the past, we do not have transparency image format. So we use the white background, right? So when we trim the white background, it's going to cut off, you know, anything that white on your picture. So that way it allows us to have some kind of, you know, background transparency. But you don't need that anymore. And then another one is dithering. Dithering is good for 8-bit because, uh, you know, when you import the 8-bit image, right, you need to deter to make the color look nice. But with the 24-bit color, so you don't need to worry about it that as well. And same setting for remaining image. Okay, this option, if you do not check it, right, what will happen? If I import it, right, and I click OK, import, it keeps asking me again for the next picture that you import. If you have 300 pictures, it's going to ask you 300 times. So, if this is the case, so we're going to uncheck the trim and we check the same setting for remaining image. So, that means the next image is won't ask me anymore. It's going to use the same setting. So, we click OK. Right? So, now all the image will show up on your cast window. On your cast window. And on this cast window, right, you can check out very important. If you take a look at it, right, you will see the number, the name of the file that you import, right? All the number and name that file you import in, right? It's going to go, you know, accordingly. For example, if you name your file with exhibition underscore zero one, it's going to follow with underscore zero two underscore zero three automatically. So that is a good name for, you know, for the button because you don't need to file out where you're going to put all the files, right? Because all files will be next to each other, okay? So that's one thing i like to mention. And one thing that I forgot to mention, your menu, okay, your menu, you can drag by clicking on the moving tools, you know, right here clicking on that and then you can reorganize you know move to somewhere you know move it to somewhere or changing it to you know something you can move it around something like that so reorganize as much as you want but if you want to get it back right you can just go to window and then you go to uh, the panel set and go back to default. So it's always come back to default. 
So don't afraid to mess up your menu or the interface. Okay. Now let's get it start, right? So if I'm going to put the interface together, right? Um, on the channel right here is just a light Photoshop layer. It's like a Photoshop layer. So I'm going to start with the one that I use for reference, okay? The one that I use for reference. So this is my reference image, okay? This is my reference image. So on my reference, so when I have everything in position, okay? When I have everything in position, I will need to bring in, right, all the elements to match the position. For example, let me start with a button, okay? So I'm going to drag the first button on here and put right there, right? Put right on the top of it. Uh -huh. So how do I know is it good enough or not? So I probably want to zoom in to 100%, okay? Want to zoom in to 100%? And let's see. Zoom in to 100% and look at my image. If my image, okay? Okay, it looks like okay to me, right? But how do you know it's okay or not? Right? You can toggle on and off by clicking on this button here. On, off, on, off, on, off. So now you can still see some overlapping or some movement on that, right? So I'm going to just turn. Okay, now it looks pretty good. Perfect position. Okay, so now I have my first button. Okay, right? So now I'm going to go to the next button. Okay, the next button, I'm going to go with the app pie. Okay, app pie. Oh, sorry, the next one is exhibition. So I'm going to drag and put on the exhibition. It should be somewhere in here, okay? Somewhere in here. So I can turn on and off to see. Yeah. Make it match. Okay, so now it's perfect. Okay, so now I got the second button on a position exactly what I want. And then I'm going to turn to the, the next one, right? The next one is how to. So I drag the how to and put it on it, right? Okay, and then turn on and off. Okay, so now in position perfectly. Okay. Then the fourth one, this one. So I drag and try to match the position and turn on and off. Okay, so now perfect. So what else do I need? I need the text, right? This is all the icon is already there. So now I have to put in the text. So where is my text? Right here, right? So the first text I'm going to put on right here. Cost description.
Okay, so now I move for the tech. It's my easier because you can see the transparencyness, right? So, you okay, and after you drag, you can use the arrow key, right, to match the position. Okay, so that's good. One more thing that I like to comment on this, right? You can categorize by hold down your shift key and change the color of the group so you can see it easily. For example, the four, uh, four of this, I want to color it as the blue color so I know this is the group of the picture, right? And this one is a group of the text. So while I'm going to position the text, right? I'm going to turn off all the image icon first. Okay, so this is take exhibition. Okay, exhibition is right here, right? So I bring in the text. In, and now I reposition. Right? Look good. And then text how to So everything fit exactly as the uh, reference image, right? Right, look good. So now I have everything in position, except, except what? Except logo, okay, let's put the logo and uh, um, the logo and the text on it. Okay, that's the logo. So I'm going to put on. Okay. So now the text, right? And just a logo, okay, right there, logo. I need to put the logo on the position as well. Okay. All right, okay, logo right there, all right? So now it's all set. So what I need, right, what I need, I need to replace between this picture, okay? This picture, the one with reference, right, with all the text, with this picture, the one without all the text, right there. So the way to do that, right, the way to do that is when you take a look at the image, right there, right, um, this is the layer of your reference image. And then what you do, you click on the cast member image that you want to change so we call swap swap the image okay so we're going to swap this image by control e right so now we swap the image with the picture that's used for reference jpeg file with this picture so now you can see this picture have no text, no layer. Only text that appear right here, right, is the text layer that you import it. So now I'm going to activate all the visual of the icon, okay? So now all the icon in position, okay? Look good. Okay, so the plan is I want the interface to fade in one second, okay? Fade in one second and show only, show only the picture of the background, okay? And then I want the interface, right? Uh, the picture, right? To popping up, you know, one by one, okay? 
So it start with exhibition or it start with uh, cost description exhibition, something like that. And then I want the text exhibition, you map how to apply, right? Approaching anime, approaching to the screen, right? From different direction. For example, this one I want from the top, and this one I want from the right, and from the left, from the bottom. So that's the plan, okay? So now let's take a look at the timeline or the score. Okay. Now you can see I have the picture of the background, right? All the way down right here. And I have all the elements, you know, set up right here. So what I like to do, what I like to do, I want to move everything, right? Want to move everything except the background, you know? A little bit back to here, right? To the uh, second second, right? And at the beginning, what I need, right? I need the picture, this picture, to fade in one second. That means 30 frames, right? So that means I go to frame 30 and click the right mouse and insert key frame, okay? So this frame is frame 30. I want it appear like that. And then on the frame one, what I want, I want it to opacity to zero. So I go to the sprite property and select the ink effects from 100% to 0%. So now what I'm going to have, if I click enter, so I'm, I'm going to have fade in. Yes? Battery is gone. Pardon? Battery is gone. Oh, battery gone. Really? No, no, it's still okay. Yeah, it's still recording. Yeah. So now you can see it's approaching and fade in, right? So what you're going to need, right? One at a time, okay? So I'm going to move, okay? The whole thing will take 30 seconds. So how many frames is 30 seconds? Oh, sorry, three seconds, right? It's going to take 90 frames, 90 frames. So now I'm going to move everything to the frame 90, okay? Except the background. And what I like, right, I want something to animate it, right, something to animate it. For example, I want all the picture to animate it first. So I select four picture, copy, and come to here, and press, right. I want one at the top, okay, one at the top, maybe five frame difference, something like that. So now let's rewind and play, see what happened. So now I got the movement, right? The image was showing one at the top, okay? One at the top. And then what I like to do, I want the text, right? I want the text to animate in as well, okay? So we have the text, right? We have the text. So I copy, and then maybe I paste right here. Okay, so now I want the text to animate in. So I have to make a mark keyframe, okay? So all the text will animate in after the picture was already show up. Right, so I have to maybe step back right here, and it's going to step in quickly. So I'm going to add insert keyframe to the last one of everyone. This keyframe will show you the final, will lock the final position, because I don't want to change the final position, but I want to change the beginning of the position. For example, I want the beginning of the text, right? This is from the top, and this is from the 
right hand and this is from the left hand oops sorry wrong one yeah this one from the left hand and this one from the bottom okay now let's take a look what happened Levi and pray so now you can see the tape was approaching at the same time, right? And now I want to stay right there after it's finished, right? To stop waiting for an order command. So I have to set the on exit frame, go the frame, enter. Okay, now let's rewind and see what happened. Rewind and pray. Okay, so you can see my demo was complete and the animation of the interface is ready to present you the information. All right, so all right. now I'm going to save this, which is you file, the file that you already have. So what I like you to do, right, I like you to put together what I did right now, yeah, before you go home.